Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about perhaps the most important piece of information associated with the suffix array, and that is the longest common prefix array, also known as the LCP array. The LCP array is an array where each index stores how many characters two sorted suffixes have in common with each other. Let's have a closer look. Perhaps the best way to show what the LCP array is, is to do an example. In the following example, we'll find what the LCP array is for the string ABABBAB. The first thing we'll want to do is construct the suffix array for our string to find out what all the sorted suffixes are. Notice that the very first entry that we placed in our LCP array, that is the middle column, is zero. This is because this index is undefined, so we'll ignore it for now. To begin constructing our LCP array, let's begin by looking at the first two suffixes and seeing how many characters they have in common with each other. We notice that this is two, so we place two in the first index of our LCP array. Now we move on to the next two suffixes. Notice that they also have an LCP value of two. And the next two don't have anything in common, so we place a zero. And the next two only have one character in common, then three characters in common, and lastly, only one character in common. So the result is the following LCP array, highlighted in purple. In summary, the LCP array is an array which tracks how many characters two sorted suffixes have in common with each other. Although very simple, you'd be surprised how much information can be derived from such a simple construction. Another thing worth noting is that the very first index in our LCP array was undefined. Since we store the LCP array as an integer array by convention, we usually set this first index to be zero so that it doesn't interfere with any operations we might want to perform on the LCP array. And this is fine for most purposes. Lastly, we saw what the LCP array was, but not how to construct it very efficiently. There are other algorithms than the one I showed you to construct the LCP array, which run in a much better time complexity that is in n log n time and even in linear time. I will cover one or more of these methods in a future video. But next up, I want to talk about some actual applications of suffix arrays and LCP arrays. So thank you for watching.